guys, so for today's video, I thought I'd take a crack at drawing Santa. Um, and sort of just, you know, sketch him out and figure out how to do it. Now, I know, everybody knows what Santa's supposed to be like and that he's a jolly uh, old man in a red suit with a button nose and all that. Um, but I wanted to see if I can't take you know, the classic Santa, and put him into my Lost Memories uh, universe and see what would he look like if he were some... what would he... first of all, what would he be in Lost Memories, and what would he look like? Because I'm sure he'd look very much like what we all know, but also have some differences depending on what he is. Um, but, yeah, I... nothing else really to say, I just want to see what can I do with Santa to make him, like, seem really cool? Er, maybe, than he already is. Uh, yeah, nothing else to really say. So, why don't we get to it and see what happens? <laughs> so the first thing I want to do is draw out Santa. So, at least classic Santa. So, as I said before, classic Santa is usually sort of a rounder guy. Everything I know about Santa, this is roughly how he looks, typically. He's got his big black boots, which they're horribly drawn on here. He's got his red suit. He's got his hat. He's got his facial hair. You know, he's obviously an old man because of all the wrinkles. And he's got dimples, and he's almost got some little blushing happening around, around him because he's probably a little bit uh, burnt in the snow and or he's been doing who knows what. He's just got a little like sunburn from the snow or he's just so cold that he's got a red nose. All that. But uh, yeah, that's, that's roughly what I know Santa to look like. Or he's usually depicted as. I mean, he, always, he has other stuff too, but I want to take this concept of Santa like, which is typical Santa, and I want to change him. So, if I want to do that, my first thought with Santa, especially in my world, so, what we know about Santa is that he is ancient. He's an ancient old man. So let's just, see. let's write down all the little things that he is. He's ancient. It's so like, he's, he's been around for, he, ages, he's just, so, he's pretty old, uh, what else, um, he's got flying reindeer, cause we want to list what he has too, so he's got flying reindeer, I'm not going to spell reindeer right, I know it, 
Uh, I, I didn't spell it right. I don't care. Um, he's also uh, friends with elves. So we'll put elves there. Because he lives with elves. He also has... Oh, let's see. He's magic. That's a big one. He's magic. What else? What else about Santa do we know? We know that Santa Claus can somehow alter his body or something. Technically, he's got to do, he can alter body in some way so that he can fit under trees. He's a toy maker, of course. Uh, oh, what else is he? Um... Alter body. He's got to be a time traveler or something because he's got to be able to alter time because I mean, how else does he get around the world in one night? Oh, what else about Santa do we know? Let's see. What else do we know about Santa? <laughs> Ancient flying reindeer. Elves, magic, alter body, toy maker, alter time. I don't think there's anything else about him that we need to know. Well, he can withstand the cold. I mean, he lives in the North Pole. He can withstand the cold. So, don't think there's anything else we can do <coughs> with that. So, let's see here. We don't have to worry. We need to make sure he's ancient for sure. The flying reindeer and the elves don't matter as much right now. Um... We also want to keep the magic, which would also go, which would go under altering the body and altering time and possibly withstanding the cold. So, on Toy Maker, we don't have to worry about that too much yet either. We can work that in after. First things we want to do is figure out how to make this ancient magic man who can alter his body and, with, and as well as time and withstand the cold into something. What would he be perfect for? Well, my first thought, and this, it's, uh, this has been my, first, my thought since I decided to do this, is that I'd make him a sorcerer. Because, and looking at this, I still think I should make him a sorcerer. Because all my, when I think of, in my world, a lost memories. Sorcerers are ancient beings who have been around for years. Like, like they can be ancient. They can basically, like, they will not die unless they're like killed or something. You know, they will last a long, long time. So that already is point for sorcerer being ancient. Of course, they're magic. They're the most magical beings alive. <laughs> like when it comes, like what some of the most magical beings alive are my sorcerers. Um, and then I'm sure if he has the, and then I, I guess his powers could be to go the alter your body, alter time, and with and being able to produce his own heat source. Uh, I think that could actually work for some of his base magic. So we know that. So we're gonna. So what we're gonna do is make him a sorcerer. Whether I spelled sorcerer wrong or right, I don't care. That's what he is. He's a sorcerer. It's official now. So, what do we want to do with him? Hmm. So, one thing I'm thinking about is let's get his face down first. I want to get his face down for sure. 
So, because I always like getting the faces before I do the whole body. That way I get sort of an idea. Put it down to here. That way we have some space. So, put his face here. I definitely want to keep the rounder face. I think it's very fitting. At least for Santa, is to have that rounder, more fuller face. So I want to keep that for sure. <clears throat> I think I'm going to alter his typical beard just slightly. Um, typically when I have my mythics, like my sorcerers for instance in my comic, um, I like my sorcerers to have more braids in there. Like it's a common trait to give them braids and some sort of stone. Which I think we can insert the stone, uh, like in his, on his, um, belt that could really work. So we'll figure out that part later. Uh, let's get his ears right here. I get him some nice little ears. It looks like he could wiggle his ears. <laughs> um, let's see. Get his neck. Fluff for sure. <coughs> so, um, what's that? His eyes. I think with his eyes, I'm going to want to do very happy eyes. So I want to try and keep some of the same thing from classic Santa, like his happy eyes and just sort of incorporate that. You know, and just keep him looking a little like older, because he is old. He probably didn't stop aging until he was rolled. Squint up his eyes just a little more. Give him his dimples, because I do like those dimples. Colors that really resonate with Santa are the red and green. At least that's what resonates with Christmas, and Santa resonates with Christmas. Like he's a, an embodiment of Christmas in many ways. So I'm thinking when I get to the coloring portion of his eyes, maybe I'll give him a little bit of a you know, because my sorcerers have to have two different colored eyes, so I'm thinking I might give him a red eye and a green eye. And I think that would really fit for my type of Santa. <coughs> I give him little bushy eyebrows. He's definitely a smiler, that's for sure. This gel is too far off, so let's bring this one in just a little more. And 
then we gotta add his beard because he needs his white beard because that's significant. try and make a braided beard. I think I said that, but that's what I want to do. I want to try and make a braided beard because I think that'd be perfect for adding the little uh, braids that go in most of my, well, in all of my um, sorcerers. I think it would just be a really good thing to do. So I want to find some references. I'm thinking of going with a more Nordic look for Santa. At least try to anyways, incorporate some Nordic features because Nordic people are, the Nordics are very far up and it's cold up there so. Ooh, that's a cool look. I like, mm, there's a couple cool looks here. a few of these. I like this idea with this big mustache. I'll save all of my references and put a link below for you guys to see what I used. I'm thinking something like this would be cool for his little mustache because he does have a mustache technically. concept we gotta figure it all out after all I don't want I want like one um, braid right down his whole chin I think if a, he had one like connecting down that'd be really cool like it I'll just try I can always erase or I can try making another one so I'm thinking having his beard sort of go like this Let me see what I'm talking about Let me just move it just a little bit so that he has happening here. It's a bad braid, I know. But we could also have the rest of it sort of come in here. So it's not just only that, but... I like something like that, maybe. I think that'd be kind of cool. Gives him a nice... I want to give him, like, of course, some little things. I don't know, I think that might be kind of cool. It's worth a shot, having a thought there. Uh, and then we gotta get his hat. I don't think I'm going to make a drawing out of this one today, but after I finalize it, maybe next week I'll come in and I'll um, make an illustration. I could try and get that idea done today, maybe. I think that'd be kind of cool.
a bit fuller, it actually works. Okay. It works a lot better than having it thinner. Too thin on the end there. I like that. See, it looks a little better than that did. <coughs> Let's add his hat. We should add some ears too, maybe. I kind of like that better. I, th I even like the little glasses on his face. I don't know, is there something about those glasses that are kind of cute on his little old man face? You need to give him his little dimples. Ah, yeah, I think that's starting to look a little bit more like Santa now. Okay, get his little hat. that look on his face. Okay, now that we have an idea for the face, I think this one is a really nice face to work with. Um, let's try and get his, because there, there's not too much that changes, uh, there's not too much that needs to be changed for Santa. I just want to like adjust a couple things for fun, but I like this look. I might ch need to change a hat. I want to find a good idea for his clothing. Alright. Let's see here. Let's get a pose down. Would be a good pose. I still, I like that. But let's, uh, I like that pose, but let's see what he'd look like if we had him sort of like with his toys. That'd be cool. Maybe a toy sack. Because I don't think I'm going to change the outfit too much for what it already looks like. Maybe add a couple little things or... So I'm not sure yet, but I don't want him too small either. I want him stocky. If that makes sense. I think Santa is really has a good build for being stocky. Santa just seems like a stocky character. I really made his hip real big. <laughs> Oops, his. Maybe he's got a booty. A nice booty. I don't know. That could work. Something like that. Alright, let's see what we can do. We might need to build his upper body up just a little bit. Because his body's a little too small for that 
frame for his back bottom legs, but I like those bottom legs and I don't want to change them. <laughs> so let's give him a nice arm. Sometimes going a little out of order helps. Just depends. larger sleeves. Let's go with that whole look of kind of bringing that more of a sorcerer aesthetic. And also because sometimes when you look at pictures of Santa, he'll have these big sleeves, this like big overcoat with fancy sleeves and whatnot that almost reaches the ground um, around him. So I figure why not give him a little something here, too. I think it'd be kind of cool. Why not try it? Gotta give him his nice belt. And we'll put a nice, oh, what would be a good sort of uh, thing for him? Oh, you know what? What if he had I don't know, like, an emerald belt buckle. That'd be kind of cool. Emeralds are kind of square-shaped, aren't they? I don't know. I don't know stones. But he had, like, a nice bright emerald belt buckle. So I think that'd be kind of cool. that sort of just come up top. Oh, but you know, actually, I'm curious. Instead of my classic boot, what if I gave him buckles? Like, boots that are more, um, buckled on. Because, I mean, that's thing typical. And then he could have tiny little stones on his buck for his buckles. Kind of carry on those emeralds if that's what we decide to go with. Another option is I give him silver and I give him silver or gold, but I don't really want to do that. I like the idea of giving him emerald because you know it's green. I kinda like those buckles. Those buckles are cool. You might want to extend them maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. 
but I don't know, maybe the buckles go if I remove this one. Yeah, okay. I think that could work. Maybe we give him a... Thing. Let's see here. I do the same thing here. For this, we'll give him nice zippers, and that way he can take them off easier. I mean, he's gonna need a little help getting them off. Or is that too out of place? Hmm. No, I feel like the boots are too out of place for it. Hmm. I like it, but I don't like the boots. The boots just seem like a little too much, if you ask me. I might have to go with my regular style of boot. I mean, otherwise, I think I kind of like it. Let's see what we can do about the color, though. I want to try and color him a little bit. Because so, I kind of like this. So I'm going to try and give him a little color, because we still have some time. and. I mean, there's not too much I want to do with this, and I at least want to see what he'd look like with certain, some color, you know? I think I'm going to give him some candy canes, because why not? Candy canes are also something that are pretty common. So now he's got like a pocket full of candy canes. I'm gonna give him one belt buckle on here instead of two. And, and so, not two, I didn't, instead of all the others, but I'm not gonna fully get rid of him because why not? I think it's cooler having at least one. I like that. Okay. Now let's give him just a little bit of color. Just a little bit. The first one I sort of Okay, let's find some colors that could work.
shade of black. He's got a pretty simple color scheme. Nothing too fancy. So, thinking, oh, which eye would I do red? I want to give this one red, I think. Give him a red eye. prettiest coloring and I know that but hopefully this is just sort of get an idea of what his color scheme is and how it looks. There are better ways to do this than just going over. I mean I could test these colors out but I already kind of know what colors I have and they're either going to work together or they're not. I, I think I lean more towards the are going to but yeah, it's one of those things. It is better to test out. And, uh, you have like a little uh, a little corner of the paper, or you know, maybe having um, oh, uh, little, a little small little sketch that you test on before you put it on this. But I don't care. I just want to see right now because I'm impatient. Honestly, it's just a sketch. I don't care what my sketch looks like. So, this is sort of if I decide I want to do a big drawing next week, which I might, I don't know. Again, see, my one problem with Santa's design, like his whole color and outfits, is he is just one solid color primarily with little hints of black and white, but it's just like. Dude, red on red, that clashes a little bit. Trust me, I know. And while it's okay to sometimes, but it, it makes it hard to draw. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know what I'm saying. It's just a little, a little difficult. Let's get his one green eye. His little emeralds. Have many, but that's okay. I forgot he can see across the top. You know, that's another good thing that fits with like um, mythics and stuff because they use mirrors to sort of uh, know what's going on and sort of uh, keep in touch. And so I think that's another reason why it sort of makes Santa work as being. Um, mythic because you know he sees you when you're sleeping and he knows when you're awake he's either a stalker or he has a magical crystal ball which also is kind of scary to think about but you know uh, we let it slide because he uses toys but yeah yeah it is still not the greatest thing in the world to be doing but we let it slide because toys. But where was I going with this? I had a thought and I don't even know what it was. Oh well. I have no idea what I was talking about. I wish I did. I 
just a little one. Because he needs to have what's his work like? Perfect. draw in next week. Um, I don't even know what the whole purpose of this video was entirely. I just wanted to draw Santa and I wanted to sort of see what how I could draw Santa. And you know, I feel like he would be kind of cool have in like my own world, but I have no purpose for him. Except maybe like maybe a, a mini cameo somewhere. But I don't really think I'd uh really um do much else than that with him. Maybe I'll draw him uh in next week. I really don't know. But that's how I like Santa. I I, I don't know where this was going. I've just been tired all week and I tried. I do like giving him the red and the green eye though. It's kinda cool. And I like those emeralds and the candy cane thought and I like it. It's cool. This was fun. Uh, I thought I would have been able to do more, but with him, like with the whole magic thing, but honestly, there isn't much to do with Santa. Santa's like, as much as I don't like the red on red, um, overall, his design is kind of perfect. There's like not much that ever. It's classic. It, it never needs to really be changed much, so. Yeah nothing else to say on this. I liked it. It was fun. <laughs> Might do more of this in the future. Uh, if you guys want me to make a Santa drawing next week, uh, like the video. Um, and maybe subscribe. I'm almost at 15 subscribers. So it would be cool if I could get one more. <laughs> uh, then I'd be at that 15 mark, which would like I said, be really cool. So, <laughs> share, like, subscribe, you know the drill. Um, as usual, I'll put some videos somewhere up around here so that you guys can uh, see some more of my other stuff. All my uh, links will be in the description as well as uh, the links to whatever sites you want. You can find me on like Coffee, Tumblr, Twitter. You know, you know the deal. But yeah. As always, I hope you guys have a great weekend, stay safe, and don't forget to wear your mask. Bye!